Okay guys, um, welcome back. I'm going to attempt to show you how to manually do the actual calculation. But I'm going to cheat because you know you get a calculator and you get the actual uh, on the course. I have made a small little version of the calculator which I'm going to use with this actual little drawing here. And I'm going to try and show you how it would be done manually, but except that my little calculator is not going to be that one, it's going to be my new version that you guys can look forward to. It's going to be available on a cell phone, and it is only going to do, at the moment, the fenestration. There might come out a late, later one that does just the aircon, and we might take it further, but at the moment I'm just looking at um, calculator version, tiny little guy, here he is. Um, he's only going to be working with the the um, the, the uh, Windows based phones. He's going to be also working with Android, and he's also going to come. It's going to come out on the iPhone as well. So you guys have got something to look forward to. Unfortunately, it's not released yet, but I had a request to do a little exercise and show you how it's done, and I decided to double it. And there's my new little calculator now being seen for the first time. I'm going to put it there, take that one away, and bring the little drawing up that we're going to be working on. Okay, so here's our little drawing that we're going to be working on. And there's a little calculator. Right, so how do we start? Simple, you put in your name. I'm going to put in my name. You can put in my name if you want to. I want to put my email address just so you guys know how to contact me. Uh, And also it's going to be used in later stage. Client is an actual client that's going to be your, your um, subject matter on your, on your uh, email line. Uh, building envelope, I'm just going to, uh, just to differentiate what you're actually doing, I'm just going to do uh, unit one, um, floor area, this one is 110 meters squared, this one zone, it's zone number one. Right, the mo main thing for the, the, the program is it needs to know where to send the actual data. It needs a little bit of a description so you know what you're dealing with. It needs a floor square and it needs a zone. Right, what did that do? I'm going to ignore this, I'm going to ignore this, and I'll show you here. What that did for me is it worked out the CU and the solar heat gain factor. Where did we get that? There we go. I'm bringing the drawing, the actual document across. Remember on the course, we wanted to know what our constants were. Our constants for the climate zone, this is we're working with zone 1 at the moment. Uh, there it is, 1.2, there and 1 point, uh, uh, 0 0.15. Multiply those two by the square feet. Okay, and that will give you the constants for that area. So there they are, uh, uh, 132 and 16.5, um, if you have a look, uh, 0 0.15 times 110 um, meter squared will give us 16.5, voila, okay, so that's what it did, it found out the maximum that we allowed, so we allowed uh, one, one, three, two maximum uh, conductance, and for a solar heat gain, we allowed 16.5 solar heat gain uh, constant maximum for this entire building. Right, so let's get on to the actual work, what actually happened there. Right, this is, there was our first page, there's our second page. We got to now tackle the, um, the actual windows, and we've got to see what uh, one window by one window. Remember our calculation. Um, okay, here's our calculation here. Uh, for conductance, we are calculating A1 times U1, A2 times U2, A3 times U3. We're adding them together. You see that? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, where A is the area of each glazing element, and U 
is the u value of each glazing element right so let's see how that comes into play right here we got the cu value the area this window here is a nd52 which i know is a uh, 1.1 high and it is a 1.5 wide remember wide and, and, and height is different it's a 17 meter squared area glass uh, one uh, glass is single clear glass frame is in this case it's timber there's our value how that value we got single clear okay and timber all right and uh, we got a uh, 5.6 and we also get a solar heat gain of 0.77 so there we go 5.6 all right if we go to solar heat gain uh, 0.77 easy now we got the area and we got the u value remember the actual um the there it is in the book area times the u value here it is on the calculator area times the u value there it is a1 times u1 plus a2 plus a uh, times u2 there it is 1.7 times 5.6 so far first one the, the, the first window we've come out with 9.72 wonderful I'm not going to add it yet I'm going to first go to solar heat gain and I've got to give in a little bit more parameters for solar heat gain solar heat gain using the same parameters working out the, the two new values it's also got an overhang in this case I, I would take the overhang as let's say 0.4 of a meter uh, the height I would say this is a 2.4 um, meter high wall I'm not sure but it's automatically detected that the height of the window and the height of the wall if you divide them uh, minus them from each other you're getting more than 500 so it's dividing them by 2 it needs to know the, the window orientation is north now I've got that one I can add it let's look at it there it is our maximum remember was one, 132 for our 110 square meters our maximum is 16.5 um, uh, for solar heat gain the area times the u value very simple equals 9.52 we are way under and the, um, the area times the solar heat gain times the e factor remember the e factor is a lookup table let me show you how it gets that lookup table Remember the P and the H? It takes the the, the height um, from the base of the window to the top of the window, and it also figures out the height of the, the shading cover to there, and it works out your um, G value, your P value, and your H value. It divides, let me just show you, there it is there. If G exceeds 500 millimeters, then you have to halve it. Okay, wonderful. So now we've got that. <coughs> then it takes a ph value and um to get your e factor and it times times all together it gives us what we've got we're going to go back and we're going to add another window next window in fact it's exactly the same window same orientation everything we're adding two let's go look yes wonderful they adding up and we're now 14 percent of our maximum 19 is our total nine and nine 19 uh, 0.7, 0.7, okay, 1.8. It's adding those up together, telling us how much we are out of total. Wonderful, clever machine. Okay, next one. This is these windows, okay, uh, to look them up, they're 2 meters by 1.5 high. So we're going to change this. This is 1.5 high. The width is 2 meters. There's our area, same glass, same frame. Um, uh, it still uh, lands up, our height has been there, it's still from north facing, and we add it. Right. Next one, uh, we've got another one, same window, also north facing, so we add it again. Boom, let's just go check. We've got four windows, 
let's go back again right so we've done one two three four oh we got a, a, a door here let's put this door in this is a sliding door the um, length of the door which is actually the height I just didn't want to use height and height the width of the door is 1.8 Okay, there's the area, same glass, same everything, same, 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 north, north, that's it, fantastic, it's in, how are we doing? We 65, 56% uh, and 43%, we're still going good. Right, so we've done one, two, three, four, five glass elements facing north. This one is facing our uh, east, that's facing east, and he is a 1.1 by a 0.9, so we've got... Um, the length is 1.1, the width is 0.9, the area is 1, okay. Uh, this one is facing east, I'm going to click on east. There we go. Add him in. Let's see how we're doing. We're still 60, we're still doing good. Right. That's that glazing element as well. We're going to do this one, two, three facing south and we are starting off with this one it's two meters by 1.5 so the length which is actually the height is a 1.5 the width is two meters and um, people you'll find that the portrait windows work much better eh? okay uh, everything else stays the same except this is facing south we add it next window this uh, one here is a 1.1 by a 0.9 uh, length is a 1.1 uh, width is a 0.9 oops I've got a 0.8 there 0.9 area okay great it's still south facing add him we've got the next one which is this glazing element with a big one is 1.6 by 1.5 right so 1.6 uh, sorry 1.8 1 1.8 high is a tall one and he's 1.6 wide and he's facing south add him last one we've got to add this n uh, 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 n c2 window is a 1.1 by a point we actually did them before we could have done twice to them but we'll redo it because we weren't, weren't watching okay and this is nine is an area everything's the same south add him let's see how we go right 86 percent of our 132 cu's available maximum for the um uh, the, the 110 square meter area solar heat gain with 65 percent of our uh 16.5 for the maximum for that area there is a list of all of the little uh, windows and doors and all of the, the, the values going out and this one will just email you to uh, the results okay but that's just a preview remember guys this is not available yet it's just to show you thank you